present simple tense in which situation this tense used what are the rules to construct sentences according to this tense hello friends welcome to our channel we learn language in today's class i am going to explain all the concepts related to this tense for your proper understanding so you are advised here to stay corrected till the end of the video and if you have any doubts or queries afterwards you can reach me through the comment section i will respond positively so let's start while approaching any tense or tense part we must keep in mind two steps for the same step 1 check the situation and step 2 recall the rule our first point what are the situations to use present simple tense this tense is used in order to express simple facts general habits routine or likes and dislikes let's check few examples 2 and 2 make 4 the sun rises in the east these are simple facts now general habits he plays cricket he watches tv in the evenings these are general habits next routine he goes to a school 5 days a week he takes english classes twice a week these things are routine now likes and dislikes i like watching tv i don't like watching tv these are likes and dislikes step 2 rule What are the rules to construct sentences according to this tense? The rules can be understood here through these four types of sentences: affirmative, negative, interrogative, and interrogative negative. First, affirmative. The rule is s plus v1 s or as plus object if any. S subject v1 verbs first form s or as to be or not to be we have to decide. Then object if any. Now the question arises here. how to decide whether to use s or as to v1 was first form or not the answer is when the subject is third person singular we have to add s or as to v1 verbs first form it's relevant here to recall that there are three persons in english first person second person and third person first person speaking second person listening and third person spoken about and all the three persons have two aspects each singular as well as plural for revision purposes you can refer to my videos titled first person second person and third person that you can find in the playlist english grammar on the channel now the point is what's third person singular third person singular means any singular noun or third person singular pronoun he she it means when subject is third person singular then we have to add s or s to v1 for better understanding we have to take up two types of sentences one with subject third person singular and with the other one any other subject which is not third person singular it can be first person second person singular plural or third person plural now type one subject third person singular he he writes a letter he is subject v1 write then as i have added why because he is here subject third person singular then we have to add s or s to v1 here for write we have to add s it becomes he writes he writes a letter now negative the rule is subject plus do does not plus v1 plus object if any then how to choose in between do and does the same reason does is applied with the subject third person singular and do with the rest here the subject is he which is third person singular then we have to opt does he does not write a letter means he doesn't write a letter interrogative do does plus subject plus v1 plus object if any does he write a letter now interrogative negative do does plus subject plus v1 plus object as regards not not can be used before subject or after it like doesn't he write a letter or does he not write a letter but the smarter approach is doesn't doesn't he write a letter now sentence type 2 we are going to take they as a subject they is third person plural affirmative subject plus v1 plus object we won't take s or as here because subject is not third person singular they they is third person plural they write a letter now negative subject plus do plus not plus v1 they don't write a letter interrogative do does plus subject plus v1 obviously we will take do 
Why? Because there is the subject third person plural. Do they write a letter? Interrogative negative. Do does plus subject plus v1 and not can be inserted either before the subject or after it. So don't they write a letter or do they not write a letter? But the smarter approach I have mentioned, don't they write a letter? Not should be taken here before the subject or with the auxiliary do or does. Don't they write a letter is smarter approach. Hope you understand by now. In the next class, we are going to take up present continuous tense when we will see all the rules concerning the same. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it, do subscribe to the channel as well as press the bell icon for regular updates. Stay connected, stay safe, bye bye.